everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the Xbox 360 Slim. Now, if you need here, consider hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell. So, I did a video probably like a week ago called Revisiting the Xbox 360, and to be honest, I don't really care for that video that much because uh, I had a really faulty console, and actually I have it right here. This is the one I had in the review, and this is the original fat model, and it's just like... It's terrible. I hate, even without the red ring of death, I don't like this. Like, I don't like this design, in my opinion. But yeah, so that's the one that didn't work, or it has the red ring of death. So I finally got a Xbox 360 Slim, and holy crap, it is so much better. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the overall design is so much better. Like, compared to the original Xbox 360 model, it's so much better. So. Uh, I got the 4 gigabyte model, and even though that's not really, you can't do anything with that nowadays, maybe a game or two, I decided to upgrade the hard drive because uh, it's just 4 gigabytes is not enough on this. So, a 250 gigabyte uh, hard drive in there. And on the front, something about it is different compared to the earlier models is that these uh buttons are touch touch sensitive so basically it's not really a button which i normally don't like because i really do like buttons something about it is okay it's not bad so i'm normally a button person i like physical buttons i, re I don't really like touch sensitive things kind of like the iphone 7 models and stuff like that so this is it doesn't really click but i actually do like it so that's the on button and this is the eject it's a tiny button up here over here you got uh two usb drives and i just personally like this console design way better and on the back you got so many usb drives so you got three usb drive ports and i don't know what that is right there there's an ethernet port right there component and hdmi i don't exactly know what that is but in the power cord uh, I also prefer the power cord to this one compared to the original because it's so much better. You got this kind of like two prong design and where's the other one? In the original model, you got this big bulky thing. So I prefer uh, this uh, small two prong cable because it's so much like smaller and it's just so much easier to go around with. So, just almost everything I like about this console way better than the original. Mine is a little bit in kind of rough condition, but it makes up for it because uh, I finally got it to work because the power cord I bought on eBay, what it would do is the console would turn on and then turn off again, like immediately after. And I was really nervous because I didn't want to have two broken Xboxes because uh, I bought this on eBay for $40, and I, I was really nervous because, like, I really did not want to have two faulty Xboxes, and $40 for a console by itself is actually not bad, so I bought the power cord separately, and this actually happened today, actually. It went in the mail, and I turned it on, it just turned on and turned off, and I was like, what? There's no way this can't work, and I actually went to a game shop near me, and I actually did schedule like a repair appointment, which I'm so glad I canceled because before that appointment, I went to this game store where they had like a power cord for this model. And they used that and fortunately it worked. I don't know what was wrong with that other power cable. It just sucked. So I finally have an original Xbox 360 Slim that actually works and it doesn't suck. So this console was manufactured in 2011. So that's a little bit uh, in the later part of the Xbox 360 life cycle. Everything I like about this console is way better than the freaking original. Like if I recommend a console that you would get with the Xbox 360, there is the E version, which I don't like because it looks too much like the original Xbox One and I don't like it. I recommend getting the Slim. It's by far the best model. Some people kind of like the original Xbox 360, but I just hate it. When I saw the video 
recently of me revisiting the Xbox 360. I just don't, I can't believe that I freaking liked it. Because compared to this, this one's so much better. So yeah, I recommend getting the Slim because it's more reliable, it doesn't have the red ring of death, and I mean it might have the red dot, but that's very rare. Not nearly as common as the original Xbox 360. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to revisit this console. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.